Now, the 3rd of July, 1988, was a black day in the history of aviation. The Iran Air Airbus, a civilian flight, number 655, was climbing out of Bandar Abbas, heading for Dubai, when 273 passengers and crew were cruelly murdered by a U.S. warship, the USS Vincennes. The commander later lied that he'd thought it was a warplane diving towards him, when in fact it was a civilian airliner climbing away from him. The United States has never apologized, never accepted responsibility. All these people, including 66 children, most of them from Iran, but also from several other countries, all entirely innocent civilian airline passengers, were fished from their watery grave in the Gulf by a huge flotilla of Iranian boats for many days afterwards. It was an act of piracy, an act of brigandry. It was an act of mass murder. So remember it the next time you hear the United States lecturing others about terrorism. It was one of the worst examples of terrorism ever perpetrated in the history of aviation, and it was perpetrated by a United States which couldn't even find it in its heart to apologize for it. So we are remembering this evening all the victims of Iran Air 655 and all the people who perished upon it. And by the way, the Vincennes crew were later decorated for extraordinary achievements. Yes, that's right. They got medals for killing 273 innocent civilians on a civilian airliner. Well, it was a great crime, but you won't be reading very much about it. The Western media has virtually ignored it. It was, as I said, one of the worst crimes in aviation history. And uh, you might like to bear in mind that the compensation for the victims of the great crime that occurred at Lockerbie was counted in the billions. The United States never actually accepted responsibility has never apologized and was forced by the International Court to make an ex gratia payment of a pitiful nature to the families of those left behind. As I say, 66 of these victims were small children who thought they were flying on a vacation to Dubai and ended up in the Gulf dead. As a result of these heroes, in the United States Navy who were later decorated by their government. George Bush Sr., the Vice President at the time, said, and I quote, I never apologize for the United States. I don't care what the facts are. Well, at least he was telling the truth. Well, we're remembering that as we talk about uh, terrorism as Hezbollah gets put on the British terror list, that's the Lebanese National Resistance, which numbers cabinet ministers, members of parliament, social workers, educationalists. They're apparently terrorists, according to the British government. Whilst the MKO terrorists, who've killed thousands of people in terror attacks in Iran and elsewhere, well, they've been taken off the British terror list. You couldn't make it up but the British government did. Now I need your calls, I need your SMSs, I need your emails, and I've got a call already from Germany. Naima from Germany, let's hear. Let's Hi. hear 